Reels, reels, reels. Instagram reels. Everyone, including myself, is saying you need to make Instagram reels to grow on Instagram as a DJ and producer in 2023. That's true. So in this video, we're back in my content gym and I thought I would break down the best ways to make Instagram reels, how to use Instagram reels for DJs and producers, how to make content for Instagram reels and how to grow on Instagram in 2023 using Instagram reels. Let's do this. So before we jump into how, let's talk about why. Why should you be using Instagram Reels to grow your page? Let's talk about the benefits of Instagram Reels as that's gonna help us plan our content. Instagram Reels has its own algorithm and it's designed to show your content to new people. Brilliant. The head of Instagram, Adam Maziri, if you don't follow him, go and check him out because he gives out tips on how to use Instagram all the time. They're gold. He said recently that Instagram is focusing on small creators which in our world, that means most DJs and producers. Even the biggest DJs in the world are still pretty small creators compared to some of the biggest creators in the world with some absolutely astonishing numbers. It actually covers most DJs and producers. When they're talking about small creators, they're talking about under 250,000 followers, which if you think about some of your favorite DJs and producers, I bet loads of them are under that number. So by using Instagram Reels at the moment, you're gonna benefit from extra reach that Instagram is giving Instagram Reels because they want people to use the platform. Instagram Reels are designed to be pushed out to new people and new fans and potential new fans. So when you're making your content, you need to think about this and always keep this in mind, which if it means you put in a flyer or artwork on your Instagram Reels and people don't know who you are, then if you're thinking of new people that come in to see you and they don't know who you are in the first place, then they're not gonna to react to that. When thinking about your content for Instagram Reels, you need to think about one of the big things people are looking for from content, and that is entertainment, education, or to be inspired. And no, that doesn't mean you have to dance around. Unless it means you're dancing behind the decks, then that's totally cool, because we're into the tracks, right, aren't we? Who doesn't dance behind the decks when they're playing music? Defo. When you're planning your content, and yes, you should definitely plan your content before you start making it, or start posting it. And if you ever get to the point where you think, shh, I need to post today, please do yourself a favor, go and get a pen and paper and write down 30 new ideas of content. Don't panic and post and sit down and plan first. But always remember those words. So in your plan, you're gonna think, how am I gonna entertain or educate or you wanna connect with new people. One thing my Artist Blueprint course member did, Pee Wee, he planned out 90 days of content and recorded them over two weeks at the beginning of the year. And then that basically left him the rest of those three months to go and make music. He had his content locked down. He built a content strategy around him DJing, around his content, which he's still rolling today, and it's around five tracks from different labels each day. It's really, really cool. You can actually check his whole content strategy in this in-depth interview I did with him. Go and watch that next. It's really, really cool, and it he tells you how he makes his content strategy. So you've worked on your plan for the next 30 days minimum. Now let's start making the content. First up, people like to watch reels in portraits. They like looking at their phone like that. They like swiping like that. And you know, if you've got those black bars, Instagram's definitely gonna penalize that piece of content because it just doesn't look cool on their app. They want their app looking the best possible. They want people using the app. They want people on the app for longer because it means they can push them ads and make themselves money as a business. If you do get landscape content, I'll speak about how we can use this later. You can still use it, don't worry. There are two types of way of recording Instagram Reels. One is recording through your camera in the app. So let's dive into my camera and let's start looking at that. And we can also chat about editing in the app as well. They're actually rolling out a brand new editor, which actually I have on one of my pages, my 63B account for my record label, 63B Records. So we'll look at it on that so you can see the brand new editor that's coming if you've got it on Instagram Reels. Okay, here I am on my phone. So if you wanna record it in app, this is great. Very, very simply, let's just look at some of the features. First up, you can choose the length of what you want to record. I've definitely found that if you just keep pressing the button, it will just keep recording. So I always put it on the shortest, just if it goes past that, let it record past it. Filters, I tend to don't use these, but I know there's a lot of people do. There is a really good one called Focus. I will search for Focus here, and basically it just puts a nice little blur around. Um, makes you look quite cool. Obviously puts you in focus. These are great for when you're doing talking to camera and things like this, and speaking to camera, because it kind of has a nice blur around you. Also, when you're like, you've got a messy room, you can still make content, you don't have to worry about it. When you've got a cool disco shed like me, we just put it on like this, it's cool. Other ones are great, that's just been announced is this gesture. So basically you can raise your hand and it's gonna start recording. Hey, it's me, Graham Farmer. I'm just talking, making a reel. That was really rubbish. See, I make mistakes all the time. So that's recording in app. Really, really simple. What I would do is if you're recording footage at gigs is I would make it and then save it to drafts. I make lots of content like this and I'll save it to drafts, especially when I'm doing things like trending audios. I'll save them and make them save them to drafts. So let's go next. 
And this is where we start adding some more of the deep depth. So maybe I want to add, if you hit the sticker light on the top, add captions. This is where you add the captions. You could do apps captions there or polls or add yours or quizzes or they're all working right reels now. As I mentioned, I've got the brand new editor. If you look at this, it's got the brand new editor. I can add text. Hey, it's me. And definitely what I would do is I definitely do this all in app. It just makes it specific for that piece of content and for Instagram. When you're making content like this and you're putting on captions and you're putting on text like this, be aware that if you look, if you scroll to each side, there's zones. You don't want to go out those zones. So much time you'll see where the, where the text is down here. And that's, that's where some of the follow buttons are. So you can't actually read it. Again, over here, there's stuff that happens over here. And again, that's over here. Same with the top, there's stuff that happens. So keep it in those boxes when you're adding captions and just make things small. Small is beautiful. It doesn't need to be overwhelmingly massive. People can still read it. And again, in the new editor, you can then move this around when this cap comes on much, much easier. Also, you can see that this is attached to a piece of audio. This is really, really cool. So if you're talking about your new track, attach it to your new track. And how you do that is by clicking the button at the top and then you can search for a track. This then puts that you speaking about your new track onto the tracks page and the tracks audio. What you can do is if you can, you can actually do is you hit controls there, you can turn down the volume of the audio and you can turn you back up. So again, I make them quite small. Again, when you're attaching music, this could actually work quite well when you're playing out. If you get a video of you playing the track and the track's already out, you could attach it to that page that then becomes part of that track's video collection. If you're speaking to camera like this, I would definitely record some of you speaking like that, and then I'd move so it's a different position. Hey, this is me speaking again. And then I'd move again. Hey, this is me speaking some more. And then maybe I'd move again. Hey, this is me speaking some more. What that's gonna do, you'll find when you're jumping around like that and the video changes and the video changes every few seconds, it really keeps the eye and the brain active and it really keeps you interested in what's going on with the video and it actually helps your reach and it helps you get more watch time. When you go into editing, really, really spend a bit of time just trimming the fat of what's on that video. Is there gaps at the start where you go and take the breath in when you start to record? At the end, if you're when you go to press the pause button, trim the bit where you're pressing the pause and really make it tight as possible. Then finally, when you when you go to save this video, you want to fill in this information here. This is the new editor for Instagram Reels captions. Make sure you fill in this caption. This caption is, is needs to be packed with searchable keywords. So what is your what is this reel about? Is it about your new house music banger, tech house banger, drum and bass roller? Make sure you get those words in because that's what people search for. Fill it out with as much information, your track title, your name, your some information about the release, or if it's about a gig you played, where did you play? What was the name of the gig? People will be searching for those content. You might come up in there, search them because the SEO on Instagram is getting stronger and stronger. And if you didn't see my video on hashtags, I'm gonna link that below and in the card. Similarly, hashtags are definitely changing and they're not becoming less useful. So I spoke about this about recently and using how Instagram is now rolling out topics. And again, I'll link that below and above. I'll make a little playlist of all these videos I'll put in so you can watch all of them. Topics have been added for Instagram Reels and it's gonna help them get more reach and help you categorize what that reel is about. And I speak about how to use it because there isn't actually any music options at the moment. When it comes to tagging, make sure you tag your reels properly. If you can tag, for instance, I tag data transmission in a lot of stuff, or use this new collaborator feature. This is where you, you collaborate with, a, with another page. If you're speaking about your new release, speak to the label and see if you can do a collaboration post. If you're playing at a gig, can you do collaboration posts? Because it basically pulls their audience into you and it pulls your audience into them. It's a nice trade-off and you can actually build some great audience off it. And always, always, when it comes to doing your caption, put a call to action. What do you want them to do next? Like it. Can you share my brand new track out with your audience or your friends? Can you do us a favor and share this out so I can get some new eyeballs on my new track? Do you like these five tracks? Comment. Save this new my new track so you can listen to it when you get home. And then what I tend to do is I tend to make loads of content like that and save it in my drafts so it's ready to go when I'm ready to roll them out. Before we jump into step two, I want to talk about my course, The Artist Blueprint. In my course, we have two modules to help you level up your Instagram. One called Instagram Domination and one called Content, Content, Content. In these two modules, it's going to help you level up your content strategy, help you design your content strategy and really push Instagram to the next level. Also, the part of the course, we look at Spotify growth, SoundCloud growth, getting more gigs and getting more music signed. I know so many of you want to do that. We also have a weekly group call with me. It's two hours every week, and we discuss what's going on with your world right now, what then, and I'm really trying to help you every week to level up what you're doing. We talk about strategy, we do a &R, we help you find the right places for your tracks, and also then connect you with, your, with the right, those labels in the first place. I use my network to help you push yourself forward. If you want to chat to me more about the course, in the pinned caption, there's a 
link to jump on a discovery call. In the discovery call, we'll spend about 30 minutes understanding where you are right now, where you want to get to, and we'll work out if the course is a good fit for both of us. The second type of recording is recording directly on your phone. And I do this more than step one. I use the better cameras on my phone, and then it's, they're saved in my phone. I'll still record in chunks so I can edit them, and I'll still sometimes do the editing within app, or I'll use a third-party app like CapCut or InShot to edit my content. If you really want to level up the filming ability of your camera, then there's an app called Filmic Pro, and it really lets you tune up your, your film camera to get really the best out of your filming for your content. It definitely gives you DSLR type controls for your camera, which then makes better content at the end of the day. The benefits are it's much quicker to whip out your camera and just store them all on there for later. When you're at a gig, especially, you can just film it, record it, and then you want to put it out later. I don't tend to tend to say put content out whilst you're at the gig. I definitely would do this because then you can really trim it and make the best piece of content and also be online to engage with the people that are commenting after you posted. When you're filming your content at gigs, try and get a nice sweeping motion of content. You'll see if you look at some of the best artists in the world that have independent camera people for them they'll get a nice little kind of motion of their filming try and get whoever's filming to do this don't be too jerky with it just keep it kind of focused a nice little motion of your filming it gets a nice little energy into the filming and it really gets a, a much better reel for you if you are filming on your phone camera then you can use that content not only on instagram reels but on tiktok and shorts as well and when you're editing those you could then edit them in apps so then you're using their inbuilt features to get the most out of those apps as well if you're filming production breakdowns again film clips jump screens so then it keeps the eye interested and put captions over to annotate what you're saying, what you're doing. One thing you can do then you're upgrading is get a tripod and a ring light. That's gonna really help and level up your content even further. It's gonna make it look a bit more pro. But if you can't afford those things, stacks of books always work. And also using your windows in your house to get the best lights. I always try and stand side onto the light so I get a nice light across my face. My neighbors must think I'm a bit weird because they all, they'll always see me going like that and filming. But who cares, right? If you're doing talking to camera pieces of content, maybe you're talking about your new track, new release, or gigs coming up, make sure you get to the point within the first two seconds. Always get the hook in first. What is the hook? What are you trying to tell them? And then cut out any dead air if you've got to capture someone's attention straight away. When it comes to editing, I use things like CapCut, InShot. Let's jump back into my phone. This is CapCut. So you just start new projects and I'll go into a project quickly. So as you can see, what you do is you add the video and then it's got a really nice feature that you can say add text and you can auto caption and it creates the auto captions and then it allows you to style these captions. I've added a great font called the bold font. I got it off dafont.com and it just makes it look nice. Again, be careful where the captions come in because it's, you need to make sure it fits in those areas on Instagram. So don't put it too low. I was trying to center it and I was trying to make it a little bit small. I went through a phase, you'll see some of my content where the captions are massive. I've definitely got them smaller and smaller. It's definitely one of those things you learn over a bit of time, make them a bit smaller because they're gonna come up just right on your screen. Once that's done, then you can export. I only export them in 1080p because they upload quicker. You don't need to be in 4K and I always do it at 30 frames. And then you can then post them on Instagram Reels, TikTok, YouTube Shorts, Facebook Reels, same video on everyone. Have you started making Instagram Reels yet? If not, are you gonna start doing it now? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you're not taking my Instagram Reels challenge, I've done a 30 day challenge. And again, I'll link to that here and here and here and here and here and here. Get involved and have a go. And if you make your first Reel, definitely put that in my comments of this video. I'd love to see it and I'd love to see all your Instagram Reels. Instagram Reels is a great way to find new fan base. But how do you nurture them once you have got them? Well, you do that using Instagram carousels. And this is a different feature within Instagram. And in this video, I show you exactly how to make Instagram carousels to nurture your audience. Before you jump out over there, if you've got some value out of this video, consider subscribing because I drop videos every week on Instagram, SoundCloud, Spotify, and more to help you level up yourself as DJs and producers and understand music marketing. Don't forget to give this video a like if you've enjoyed it. And I'll see you over there. We're gonna chat about Instagram carousels and level you up a little bit more and get you making even better content in our content gym. See you over there.